Hey folks, I'm Bill Langer. You're watching Traditional Adventures TV. I'm down here on my ranch in Florida. It's February 2021. I've got my cousin Dan and his son Cody with me. And we're going out looking for some camp meat. Uh, hopefully I'm going to convince Danny to shoot a smaller hog. I got a dish I want to uh, share with you guys with uh, some wild hog meat. Um, Dan, I know, is looking forward to it. And so is Cody. This is Cody's first hog hunt. So uh, stick with us and I hope you enjoy. So we tried a little pig in distress call right here. <laughs> we had a pig coming in and I don't know if it came out on the camera but it just poked its nose, just poked its nose out and um, then got spooked. As soon as it saw Dan, the game was, uh, the game was over. So try him again. <laughs> Perfect. That was awesome. Do it again. What do you think? You having fun? What happened? I don't know. Did you hit your arm guard? Yeah, I think so. Awesome, that felt so good. The arrow's right here. Looks good. Nice little blood trail. Right around the corner here. Didn't go very far. 30, 40 yards maybe. Came down here to Florida with my cousin Bill. Brought my son Cody along. He's never been down here. Figured it'd be a good experience for him. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. Thanks, Bill. It's a great time down here. Oh. 
Let's get this part cooled down. Some nice hams here, some nice front shoulders. It's gonna make a heck of a stir fry. You a cold one, Dan? Oh yeah, it's time. Congratulations. Thanks. It's awesome. Cody. Good deal, boys. Good deal. Alright, so what we got for you today. I'm gonna to make a pork stir fry out of the uh, pig that my cousin Dan shot. We're just gonna take some of the, one of the uh, hind quarters and I'm gonna dice that up. We're gonna mix it with a bunch of vegetables and then end up mixing it with ramen noodles and frying it up in a pan. So let me grab the pork here. So if you're looking here, you got a whole bunch of pork piled up. And here's a hind quarter from last night. Beautiful meat, beautiful, beautiful meat. So we'll take that. Bring this on over here and we'll start trimming it up. So the other ingredients, we got just some mixed vegetables here that made sense to buy at the store like that. We got some uh, green onion that I want to throw in. Got a little garlic we're gonna put in there. And then we'll end up mixing it with ramen noodles. And these are these are chicken ramen noodles. We'll just add the spice to it and mix it all together and be delicious. One thing I forgot to mention is we're going to have a little base in there of bacon. I'm going to chop up some bacon, mince it up, and we'll get that in there because the, the wild pork obviously doesn't have a lot of fat on it. So the bacon will give it flavor, give a little bit of grease in the pan for frying up all the vegetables and everything else. So not doing anything real fancy with it. We're just going to cut it in big chunks. All right, come on over to the frying pan. Grill going already. Gonna start cooking this down. Get some grease in the pan. All right, now I gotta get the onions chopped up. All right, let's get this in the pan. Look at that there. Gorgeous. It's gonna be good. I'll turn the heat down just a little bit. I want it to cook slow. Get back to the other vegetables. Got a mixture of peppers here, green and red. I'll cut up these mushrooms. I'm gonna leave these a little bit bigger chunks. My mouth is watering, man. I am ready to eat. We've been out filling feeders for the past three hours and I know we're all ready to eat. Okay, so I got the peppers and the mushrooms cut up. Get those sitting on top here. Bacon's starting to brown up nice. Perfect Florida day. That's gonna taste delicious. Wow. All right, let's trim up this pork. Look at that. Perfect ham off a wild hog. So I'm just gonna take some off the bone here. Separate the. Might have to switch to a different knife here to help trim it up. Take some larger chunks here. Trim off some of the silver skin, like that. Set that to the side. Put it down like this. Smaller strips. Cook quick. Pork does carry trichinosis, um, so it's a good idea to fully cook it. This meat's absolutely gorgeous. A nice clean kill. We got it right in the cooler right away, dressed off and in the cooler. All right, let me go over and check on those vegetables, give them a stir. Look at that. Perfect. Come along great. Nice slow cook on them. Back to the meat. Just keep separating the muscle groups and trimming it down. Okay, we're ready to add the meat. Got it all cut up. Not a very big pan. There's only uh, three of us eating, so I cut up about half the half the hind quarter. Dan's going to be bringing the rest of the meat home. So I'm just going to slip this in here. Cook on one side of the pan. 
brown this meat up. Put some pepper on it. A little pepper. Man, that smells good. Salting that up. Got some garlic here, some minced garlic. I have to add that with the pork. Put a little bit of that in there. Mix that all in with the pork. Cook in there nice. Let that simmer a little bit, then I'll turn it over again. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to end up taking the ramen noodles here and I'm going to boil them. You're supposed to boil them for three minutes, but we're only going to boil them for two and leave them al dente, a little firm. And then we'll mix them in with all of this and we're going to put that uh, chicken flavor that's in with it and blend that all in and be delicious. The aroma is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to mix it in now with the vegetables. I'm going to get this all together here. These around. The pork's gonna mix with that bacon and the onions and the peppers and the mushrooms. It's just all those flavors will blend together. It's gonna be so good. I'm just gonna cover this up real quick. Hold the heat in there. Just let it rest a little bit. Now, I'll get the pot on, turn the heat up a little bit, and get our water boiling here. We have water in camp, but it's a shallow well, so I use bottled water whenever we're boiling or brushing our teeth or anything, so. Just gonna take some of these green onions, just for a little color, a little extra, extra flavor. Not too much of them. Just mix that in there on top. All right, time to put the noodles in. We're gonna add all six packages in. Now you normally cook these for three minutes. We're only gonna cook them for two because we want them to stay fairly firm. Gonna put that on there. Just gonna break them up here. We're gonna strain it off and I'll add in the other ingredients. We'll add in the chicken flavoring to our pork dish and it'll be a great camp meal. So we got the noodles strained off. And so now we're gonna take these ingredients that we cooked earlier. It's got the pork, the onions, the peppers, the mushrooms, the green onions. Get this in. And spread this all around in here, mix it all together. Take these seasoning packets. I'll put a couple in at a time, then I'll stir them around again. All right, get some more of this. Now I'm gonna mix this in again. Just rolling all those flavors together. My mouth is watering. It's gonna be so good. Look at that. That right there is our hog camp stir fry. Got wild pork, ramen noodles, onions, peppers, bacon, green onions, mushrooms. That's gonna be delicious. Get your plate of the good stuff here. Hope you guys are hungry. Oh, I can't wait. It was a big batch of it. It's nice to see the whole process. Yeah. From the kill to the processing yeah. it to cooking it all the above. Kill, clean, cook. I love doing it. How was it, boys? It's good, man. It smelled really good cooking it. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, yeah. It's little pieces of pork in here. Mmm. That is so good. The pork has a little bit of chew to it, but great flavor. Garlic mixed in with it nice. Mm -mm. All I can tell you is delicious. You can do this with any kind of meat. We choose to get our meat from the woods. I want to thank you for joining Traditional Adventures TV, and we'll see you on the next one.